the party. Having traveled um, through the snow and slush of a also valley that is rapidly approaching spring, set out to pull a job before the uh, uh, cleansing of the flesh gorge came underway in uh, about, I believe, two weeks' time. Traveling along the party, um, encountered a number of the oddities that are native to the Osso Valley. Strange, undead, and finally, most recently, a small cor corpse of wood, a grove, sorry, excuse me, a grove of wood, uh, unlike the trees surrounding, unnaturally placed, uh, submerged in a like murky gloom and, and silence. Investigating, they questioned one of the trees that lived here. Um, having actually a quite pleasant conversation with it, um, finding out that this is uh, the edge of a cursed area of some sort in which a individual who fell on the wrong side of a group of witches known as the Three Furies ended up cursed here to eternally hang, guarded by his once loyal companion, now a cursed monstrosity. And it's there that we pick up as you guys begin to push into this core cursed forest. Oh boy. Let me find some spooky music for you guys real quick. I look around and it's like that scene out of Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Where he's like the only one in the room. Except John is there. And it's just <laughs> the two of us and everyone else has magically vanished. Like It do be like uh... that. You know, I don't appreciate the spooky story campfire thing. I just put the. Why is this something that's just like straight out of a horror movie? The group goes into the forest and then just gets split into three groups of two and one group, or like two groups of two and a group of three. Damn. What? That sucks. Yeah. So it's like, okay, well, I guess Simon and John is one group. Um. Skelly Boy as well. Yeah. I, I guess we have Skelly Boy. I guess Skelly Boy would be with us. Who's Skelly Boy? You keep saying that. Oh, because you can't cast use your staff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, smart. And then, uh, I guess one group would be like Mercy and uh, Gwen, and then the other one is like Iggy, Hyacinth, Speck. And knowing the group, what's going to happen is, is you and I are going to be running for our lives, and Hyacinth, Speck, and Iggy are going to be having a tea party. I'll be right back one second. Oh my god. We're not dead! We're not dead, we have DPS, we're good. As you guys begin to walk into this forest, um, the chill that you've been working on seems to, like, fade away. There's no snow on the ground as you step forward. Just dry, dead leaves. Except they're not leaves. As you kind of bend over, you kind of pick one up. And you realize it's a piece of paper cut out to look like a leaf. And as you kind of like glance over at the trees, you see there's something off with the bark. And as you approach that... You can see it's not a tree. This isn't bark. It's just a, lo a like a cleaned, a processed log of wood that's been carved to look like bark. You can see, and you like you even grab it like lichen that's kind of clinging to the side of it, and like pull it away, and you realize it's not lichen. It's uh, it's like hair of something, like doll's hair almost. 
And as you go through this space, you slowly realize this isn't like a living forest. This is artificial, fake, a performance of a forest. And as you begin to press further and further into this uh, fake, dry forest, you get, you get further and further away from the life. It becomes quieter and quieter and quieter. The wind fades to nothingness. There is a stillness here, a heaviness, a lifelessness. As you stand in these woods, and as you travel further and deeper into these woods, there begin to become mistakes. Things that are wrong. You notice a tree that's branches sprout out upside down. A boulder that like weirdly is like fused together in multiple places and almost like coming out of itself into like a strange tower. Things made to look like trees, but wrong. You see uh, instead a tree made out of stone, a tree made out of glass, a tree made out of buttons. You see boulders that are, as when you look at one, you actually see it's a bunch of fly corpses that are somehow like cohesing, cohe cohesive together. Um, if Terry was here, she could make a religion check about where you guys are, but she is not. Um, so John's smart. <laughs> it's not. It's not that kind of check. I'm worried. Her background gives her particular insights into where you, what kind of place you're in. Rose. But are you guys continuing to press further in? Uh, yes, but uh, Tappy's tap goes the magic staff. Boop. <laughs> Profit scales take point. It just salutes you. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they could talk because they don't have muscles. Well, to... they're undead. It so... chitters. Okay. <laughs> the goblins chitter happily. I mean, the, the skeleton chitters happily. <laughs> the skeleton is happy. Um, you guys begin to sneak ahead. As you press along, a in this space of silence where you're breaths, heartbeats, and steps. The shifts of your clothes are the loudest sounds, all the loudest sounds that you can hear. In this kind of silence, this unnatural silence, any noise stands out as loud. And you begin to hear a strange throaty sound ahead of you in the distance, a faint tickling on your ears. You continuing forwards? I don't know if there's universal sign language with puppy, but like that's what I'm gonna try motion to John with, you know, my hands. Just I'm gonna thumbs up him, and then I'm gonna point at the skeleton and motion him to move forward. So what do you guys do? We're moving forward. Okay. We're moving forward with private skeleton up in front. That sound grows louder and louder, and you begin to hear it in more like definition as you guys creep over, and you can hear it say. Oh, that's guy choking. Um. Kind of just gonna look at John when we hear that. Just go like do that. Like pull the pull, like the motion for like a noose around his neck. Just all. Oh. Can we see him? No, you can just hear it. It's it's also like you can hear it's like pretty far off. It's just it's so quiet in here. Sounds like that can carry for like a ways and you still hear them. If you stand if you really stand still and like hold your breath, there is almost no noise in here. Besides your heartbeat. Nice. Are you, are you guys continuing further? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, Sybin. Yeah. Roll me a survival check. Um, 16? 16 is good. Yeah. Um, as you're, you're kind of walking along, you're, you're like, you get a tickling in like the back of your head and your instincts kind of kick in and you kind of glance back and you've been walking in a straight line this whole time, more or less a straight line, right? Yeah. As you look back, you can see the, the trail of your steps curves to the left and disappears. I will point that out to Jun. I'll just like I tap him on the shoulder and like turn back and just point to like the frail. You look back too and if you look like straight back you don't recognize anything. Yeah. Huh. If, like, looking back on the... If we follow our tracks back from the left, right? Mm -hmm. uh, does that area look familiar? It looks vaguely familiar. Uh, it is. It, there's a lot of, like... There's not... This place is pretty uniform, but there's some, like, weird standouts that you can kind of hold to. But then you, like, you kind of round that corner and see it, and you can see it hits another kern and another turn, and it's, like, wobbling over the place. It's not like there's snow down that makes tracking your footsteps easy. Yeah. So, like, a lot of this is just you being pretty, like, pretty good at noticing shit like that. And, uh, like, you get the sense that this area is rearranging itself. Oh. Okay. Uh... I'm going to send Aurora up into the sky and see if she can't see a path for us. Okay. Okay, so Aurora begins to flutter up into the sky. <laughs> she hits something. She looks a little confused for a moment, and then <laughs> kind of like a moth hitting a window. And you realize the sky isn't real. It's painted. There's a ceiling over this place. About 20 feet up. Well, that's not good. Is there multiple paths ahead of us, DM? Um, there's one path ahead of you. The best course of option here, Simon, would be to continue to move forward. If it's rearranging itself around us, then there's no telling if we will get back without lifting the curse of this place. Yeah. Yeah. For reference, because I'm a player, and it, it's been a while since we've played, um, what do we have to do to break the curse again? Isn't it just stop the dude choking? Uh, cut like, the rope that stopped him, him from choking. Yes. Yep. Okay, we said you. The, what are the benefits of, um, being a druid and, like, doing something smart and, like, getting information is you don't have to be like, how the fuck do we stop this curse in the middle of trying to deal with the creature that... It otherwise can't be killed attacking you. Yeah. Okay. I was just asking because it's been a couple weeks since. Yeah. Yeah. No. So. Okay. All right. Push forward. Keep going forward. Let's try some more music. That's what this one does. It's me. Hi. I'm in danger, it's me. As you guys creep forward, these mistakes that you've seen, these 
flaws in the fake things get worse and worse and it even begins to show in the ground and mixed in with the leaves you see strange shapes you see faces carved out of this paper you see snow drops you see stars you see random things like pigs and rats and you know people faces clown that have been just kind of cut into these little paper things that were normally just leaves you can see the ground begins to crack and open up into like spaces that kind of flow and it's like it's not like you know it's a tunnel that's like designed there it's like that crack opens up and there's more fake under there like completely ignorant of the fact that there's like anything above it um, and you begin to see a clearing coming ahead of you and that <laughs> sound grows louder and as you press forward you see the clearing opens up ahead of you do you guys want to do anything before you step into it do we see anything in the clearing? You'd have to step into it to get a, cl a clean view. Uh, um, uh, I think he's saying, if I have a spell that I'd like to cast, uh, now's the time. There's uh, only three of you. This is not an encounter built for three people, so... Yeah. Like, okay, um... When I talked to the tree, did it mention anything about, like, how the dog attacks people? No, you didn't really ask. Okay, again, I couldn't, I can't remember, so... Yeah, you didn't ask. Okay. Well, I got nothing. I got nothing. Well, actually, I'm going to go ahead and activate my belt. Okay. That's that, like, 21 points of... 21 temp, temp hit points? Yep. You know That's really useful. I'll cast, <laughs> in, I'll cast enlarge on him, too. That that is that will kill your pass out trace, just so you know. Oh fuck, you're right. It will. Hold on. Okay. Um, the moment we get caught, I'll enlarge him then. Okay. Yeah. Hold the action. Smart. Uh, Blue, are you doing anything? What exactly is happening? I was AFK. I'm sorry. Uh, you guys have entered some kind of cursed forest that isn't real. Um, uh huh. Um, and are now approaching its center where you can hear a, a man choking to death. Eternally. And we and... have to cut the guy down from the tree to, uh... How far is he? Break the curse. Ah, uh, you don't know. You haven't stepped into the clearing yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can I, can I stealth? You stealth certainly can. Is that, I, I, this is just like a, you're about to enter the encounter. Do you want to do anything first? Kind of yeah. Like? Um... Let's see. Let me check my spells. Because Iggy has, like, two slots. So. Let's see. Hmm. You think that over. I'm going to grab some water real quick. Yeah. Maybe a throat lozenge, too, because the shit's fucked. Man. You know, I hope he nerfs the camera a little bit. Otherwise, we might die. <clears throat> we need to try to speed on this. Oh, yeah. Well, what's the farthest ranged option any of us have? I have 150 foot. That's what I have as well. I have 120. What do you have that's one? Huh? What do you have that's 150? 
uh, Skelly Boy. Oh, with the bow? Yeah. You think you could hit the rope? I was, I was thinking about hitting the rope with a Eldritch Blast, too. Yeah. It's like, I can hit it with a magic missile. <laughs> that could work. I think we sh should let me hit it with a Eldritch Blast, because it doesn't burn anything. Yeah. Technically. And see if that helps. We have to get up there and like slash, like actually like hit the rope with something that does slashing damage. I don't have anything that does slashing damage. Um, I could resummon, and I'm dead. That gets me like 90 foot, plus another 30 foot in movement. Okay. Or 40 foot, depending on what I summon. So what are you guys doing? I'm just gonna stealth and then hold. I mean, I can't really hold technically, but like when I get close enough, maybe Eldritch Blast the rope. Okay. So you guys. Because we know he's hanging, right? What's up? We know he's hanging from a rope, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. So. Okay. So as you guys creep along. As you guys creep along, that uh, 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 gets louder and louder until finally you press your way through the trees. Um, are you sneaking ahead, or is everybody stealthing? Uh, I'm gonna try to keep ahead of a little bit ahead of everybody. Okay, so you're the first one who steps into this clearing. Yes. As you look, and you can see this like failure of like the holes like cutting through like this failure of whatever this is is like as bad as it is anywhere and you can literally see three different layers of these holes where they're like failing and like the whatever produces place is like falling apart and not working well but firmly surrounded by these things you can see a central kind of platform that holds firm around here there aren't any any mistakes in this like construction around it and you can see it with ringed bases beneath it, a tall, pale, gray tree, dead, lifeless, almost calcified. The first thing you've seen that doesn't look unnatural in, in any, in like the way that it was like artifice. This is the first real thing you've seen in here. Um, blue? Yes, I'm listening. You got TV, you got TV. Yeah. I'm sorry, my phone is next to my mic. I'll fix it. No, it's it. A... Oh, is it actually? Can yeah. you hear my mom's TV? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. weird. Oh, I have the wristband. Yes, it's funny because like I can hear you said I can hear. I was like, yeah, I can hear you too, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I fixed it, hopefully. Yeah, there's not sound bleeding through anymore. You're good. I saw my mic peak. <laughs> okay. Um, I think it's okay now. Could you just shut your door? I could, I guess. Can we get up? <laughs> Isn't that the oh, easier it's like, solution? It's, it's like five steps to your door. Well, yeah. Well, for us, it's like ten for her. You know. Okay. <laughs> ten and a half. <laughs> I mean, um, but as you look forward, you can see dangling by a black rope, like black, not in like the traditional way, black in the Vanta black way. In the, it swallows all the light that touches it and emits nothing. You see a scraggly man, human, uh, humanoid rather, um, a fawn, 
with a scraggly beard, emaciated body, long, uh, lank hair that kind of falls in his face. You can't even see his face. You can just see his mouth gaping. His purplish skin is just like raw, uh, peeled, bleeding neck where his hands are like holding it, struggling with the rope. You can see his feet kick, his hoven feet kick back and forth trying to like find purchase that he has not found in how many centuries and you see kind of dutifully at its feet a large looking black dog you can see smoke kind of drifts off of it in places it's got massive teeth it almost looks kind of like a like a like a pit bull or a mastiff it's kind of set at his feet just kind of dutifully there kind of like it looks like it's sleeping almost what are you doing, Yeti? Um, is there is, is there's a rope holding him, right? Is mm -hmm. there a way to hit it, or? Um, you would be about uh, you'd be a little over a hundred feet away from him at this point, so. Okay. Uh, she'll try to sneak closer, but kind of like around the edge, I guess, if that makes sense. Okay, why don't, clearing. why don't I put you on the map? That would probably help. Let me try this different playlist. Ooh. I like that. That's nice. You guys hear that? Yes. Seafoot Games. Not sponsored. Yeah. Um, Where are we? You guys, you're literally right there on the edge. Okay. Iggy or all three of us? Iggy, you guys haven't come in yet. If she's like ahead, no. But before we proceed, let's take a moment to introduce our sponsors. <laughs> yeah. Seafoot Games. Now available in all, all provinces of Canada, North America, and Brazil. Um, um, Blue, uh, as you creep in, I do need you to make a stealth check. Elf! That is one fish looking popper. Puppy. Yeah. And roll high. Oh, fuck, I double clicked. I didn't well, want to. Uh... Oh no. Rip. Awkward. Well, guys, since it's just us, we may be dying tonight. Congrats. Yeah, we might be. Well, Iggy, as you step into the clearing, there's a, a creature. Steps up and starts. <laughs> and pretty immediately is alerted as you as you literally trip your way into the clearing. Um, um, yeah, I mean, I guess I need you to roll initiative. Okay. Long standing tradition being upheld. Chris literally <laughs> showing up to party the initiative roll. <laughs> Um, so, essentially, what we're doing is you guys are all a step behind her, so round goes by, and then you get your turn. You can roll yourselves in now, though. Do you want to drag us? Do you just want us to yeah, just drag yourself, yeah, drag yeah, yourself yeah. to, like, a corner or something. DM, Maybe. will you drag two tokens for me, please? I want you undead. Yeah. Okay. You're so sweet. If you're gonna use that a bunch... Wait, that's spec. <laughs> Sorry. Just having to drag him on. I don't know why it won't let me drag on. I don't want to. I'll bet if you're gonna use that a lot, uh, get me a picture of an undead that you like, and I'll Ooh. turn it into a token for you to Earth. control. Go around. I gotta go get the meat out of the oven. One sec. Um. I got a good cyber initiative roll. <gasps> yeah, we. Here you go. I'll put it in reference chat for you. Nice. 
guys. I'll be right back. <laughs> Not that bad. Where am I, DM? What's up? Where am I? Oh, you're right here, buddy. Where? Bottom left. Oh, shit. I can't see that. My <laughs> bad. No worries. Man, Blue, you sure, you sure couldn't have done that one worse, huh? It's been like that for the past couple days. Like in game or? No life. Oh, okay. It's like that. Well, at least you get a giant cock, you know. Yeah. A lot of people don't even get that. Yeah. True. I certainly didn't. Hmm. Yeah, hey, you got a nice mouth. That's true. You got a pretty mouth. <laughs> you got a pretty mouth, boy. I'll make you squeal like a pea. I say that to people in Warzone all the time. Oh, if God. you squeal like a pig, you can live. Um, are we missing somebody? Uh, yeah. Fluffy, you roll yourself in? Yeah. You need to Nora, click your the token, but... dog. Oh. Dora, the name of the dog. That's uh, a nice name. Well, that is the implication. Mm -hmm. Come here, Dora. God, it's, it's like this. It's like that episode of Always Sunny. <laughs> because of the implication. No, let's not get let's not get yeah. compare ever compare ourselves to that episode of Sunny. Um, but ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so passing your turn. Okay, let's get some spooky music, by the way. Oh, spooky combat music. Yeah. Let's do some tragic spooky combat music. I have a good one for that. This is a good one for that. Gosh. No. Don't yell at me. Sibin, you're pushing your way through, yeah. but you haven't quite entered the uh, clearing yet. I do have a question. What's because up? Because I had that enlarged spell ready to go. Um... Would that go off the moment Iggy gets noticed? Uh, I don't think you're aware. Because she literally, like, walked through, bonk, immediately set him off, and you've got, like, thick foliage between you and it. It'll definitely uh, go off for, like, free, but it just won't, like, not yet. Okay, okay. Alright, I just wanted to know when that yeah, was Yeah, 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 no worries. Um, Iggy, um, you're up. What'd you like to do? Oh. <laughs> This map is so big. Um, can I get there? Actually, can I get there? Oh, oh. Yeah, okay. Um, can I try to stealth again? <laughs> uh, what are you stealthing about? Sure, I mean, you can. You just have no cover currently. You're, like, in the open. This is not cover. This thingy here. Uh, well, when he... There. No. <laughs> what about this bush? Yo, are you behind bush? the bush? Again. Uh, yes. Uh, are you, uh... Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, it doesn't have a small passive perception, but just so you know. Yeah, it's fine. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You really, okay, we really have to get you your boots back. Yeah. Get Chris to deal with his backstory. Um, Chris? Hey, Chris, go get my... Go get my boots, please. Yeah. Chris, <laughs> Fetch Maggie them. Needs her, Maggie needs her boots back, so go deal with your backstory, you big baby. Um, Iggy, is that your turn? You want to? Um. <laughs> You're like shit, shit, shit. <laughs> Eat it again and get back up. You're like fuck. Uh, what are you doing? You have your action up still. Uh, I'm trying to see if I have anything that can really reach. Um. I... Show hypnotic pattern them. Um, sure. Uh, because I can hit both of them, right? 
Uh, well, they would. He. Okay, yeah, you can target both of them with it. Yeah. Um. He needs to, so he needs to make a wisdom save. Mm-hmm. Ruh -ruh. Yeah, it doesn't have like a minus three. Unfortunate. Uh, yeah. But you you do also get the sense that they are immune to the charmed condition. Okay. As your magic interacts with this thing that's like dark and just like this thing is like of like a component of a curse as you like interact with it you kind of like it gives you some like things about it you kind of get a sense of it there's like this thing is like a force of nature it's less it'll, it would be very difficult to stop it okay. if not impossible as it is a part of the curse until the curse ends um, you, is that so that's is that your turn yeah i can't do anything else Okay, that's your turn. Um, takes us to her turn. Well, at the end of your turn, she's going to use a legendary action to dash. Oh, right. um, five, Rip. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And then she, um, that takes us to her turn, and she's going to use her movement. She's going to leap, <laughs> leaps across. And then she's going to use her action to dash to get right up on you. Um, that's her turn. Uh, Gawain, you're still pushing through. John, you're still pushing through. Sybin, you're still pushing through. Well, I pushed through. Would have pushed through. At the oh, yeah, you would have been the start. Yeah, you're the start. So you come through. <laughs> so does my enlarge go off then on John at this point? Sure. You need to see right. him, though. Um, well, yeah, just we'll just say it does, just to make things clean. Yeah. Yeah, I was about to say, like, to make the clean, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, John, you're big. Whichever one John is and not the token. Okay, so I guess if I push through, I got to, like, here then? Mm-hmm. So do I still have my full movement from this point? Sure. Uh. So you step in, you can see this creature... With this large dog in it in blue, um, as you, you watch as this creature approaches you, it goes from the size of a normal dog to growing steadily larger. Okay. Okay. Um, that's a thing. Um, if I'm concentrating on large, I can't concentrate on anything else. Um, what do I want to do? And the only way across is through there. It's right through the war zone. Okay, um. I am so sorry, guys. Took me out and then, uh, obligatory smoke alarm went off. Of course. Love it. Beep. Beep. Yeah, five, Beep. Ten. Would I be able to stand on this, like, half-ledge area right here? Um, yeah. Just, you know. Might not, wa might not want to get hit while you're there. You know, go for a tumble. Uh, what's a yeah. Oh, I do have that prepared. <laughs> yeah, for, so far the only other thing we know is we're, this thing's a muted charm. Ow. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so we'll go, like, 5, 10, 15... 20, 25, 30, kind of like skirting around this thing. 30, 35, I don't remember what my movement speed is. Uh, 40, okay, uh, 40, we'll say. Uh, and then I am going to, uh... Oh, you're a lucky little fuck. Yeah. <laughs> um, I will say roll a perception check. Sight or hearing or smell. Actually, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Okay. What are you doing? Um. Well. Um. 
Let me read. Oh, no, that's a concentration spell. Damn it! Yep, concentration. concentration all, of these are, all of these are concentration. I was like, oh, I can... But, nope. <laughs> you said... That's concentration. Damn it. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. Um, you usually want your concentration spells to be, like, some of your highest level spell slots, because then they, like, you know... Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I look at my twos and it's C C C C C C C C C C C C. Senor, um, right. Uh, so what are you doing? You have your action, I believe. You just skirted yeah. the edge there. Um. Fuck! What do I want to do? I don't know what I want to do because I need that. I can't do much because of concentration on enlarge, but that's more important. So, um, I have my action. Um, how far away am I from? Huh. How far can I throw this? Only 30, damn it. Um, shit, I don't know what I can do, actually. Um, that's concentration. What are you doing? I'll cast Long Strider on myself. Okay, not bad idea. Sure, let's do that. All right, I'm, so I'm, not used, I'm not used to going first. Yeah. When I get the, can I take that extra 10 feet of movement now? Sure, I'll, I'll say so. And go 50. Yeah, go for it. Okay, uh, 45. You do proc 50. an opportunity attack, though. From here? Yep. With what? Uh, You'll see. <laughs> You'll see. You <laughs> watch the as the shadow that courses around this thing coalesces into, like, a, a lance of <laughs> the darkness that lashes out at you. Okay. Um, that is a 18 to hit. 18 misses. Hell yeah! As you you hold up your shield and it like spears partially through, you're like, fuck, fuck, fuck! As you just whoosh, shoot by your sister. Yep. I'm way down here now. And I'll bonus action shillelagh. Okay, is that your turn? Yes. Okay, at the end of your turn, it's gonna use a legendary action and run up to you. Okay. Um, Iggy, you're up, girl. What would you like to do? Um... It did actually leave your space if you wanted to make an opportunity to attack against it. It has to be like would a weapon, be, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it would have to be a weapon. Yeah. Right. Uh, thirteen hits. Okay. Okay, so you <clears throat> jam this knife into its side, and it does not really seem to care. Oh no. Again, this kind of like goes back when your magic interact with this. This thing is less like a creature at this point and more just a construct of the curse that's been laid upon this man. Oh, guys, if you're going to go after the thing, do it now. <laughs> Damaging this thing doesn't really do anything. Okay. How far did Simon take a opportunity attack from? Um, well, he's taking the opportunity attack and the thing has not a turn. Oh, yeah. So okay. His reaction's gone. Yep. She's going to like scramble this way going for the tree um oh oh is he like on a rope exactly? yeah he's like <laughs> hanging feet kicking you see it's like an emaciated fawn with like an overgrown ratty beard and a like long lank hair that falls in his face. You can barely make him, but you can make out his mouth as he's gasping for air, purple around the edges. You said to try wrong. to shoot. Okay. The rope. It's it's a pretty high C because like you know this is like a Western moment where you're trying to shoot a rope yeah, from a distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and it's not a big I target. Make an attack roll. Where where's my where's my blast? Ah. 26 will hit. That's for fucking sure. Ew. So fling, it hits it. Um, and you can see just like a little bit of fraying happens. 
And we'll do our second one. 22 hits. Jeez, you're accurate as fuck. Um, you're like somebody with fuck it. You rode so good for your charisma, Blue. You're like somebody with uh, archery, the archery fighting style. Um, yeah. Um, 11, 21. Yeah. You see, like, more of it begins to fray. Uh, this thing, this rope, you get the vibe, is not a rope. Um, but it can be damaged. Um, is that your turn, Iggy? Yes. Okay, at the end of, uh, your turn, it's gonna go, <laughs> Um, and, uh, howl, where this is, like, horrifying howl. I need both you and Sybin to make wisdom saves. Oh, no. Oh, yay. Oh, yay. <laughs> 21. 21, you're good. 21. He's not good at these. Sybin, brain, rock solid. Hey! 21! <laughs> So yeah, smart. so you feel this this fear beginning to wash over you as like you for a moment like you get like almost double vision and you can see yourself in the tree hanging and you can feel your body beginning to lock up as this fear washes over you paralyzing you and you fight it off um that uh that is its legendary action it's now going to rush over here Oh. Actually, it's gonna. You know what it's gonna do? It's gonna leap in your way as it jumps across. You get an opportunity attack, Simon. Uh, with my shillelagh. Yes, sir. Schmack, schmack. Okay. Okay. Um. Bonk. Fourteen. It's Fourteen hits. Takes ten points of bonking damage. Yeah, it's you haven't like done a lot of this interaction, so you haven't really picked out a lot of these things but you like as you hit it you get the sense that like this isn't a thing that cares about damage yeah, uh, yeah. but this thing's gonna attack you iggy it's Wait. going it's gonna make a necrotic spear attack on you iggy you um that is a uh that is a that is a 30 to hit okay well she's gonna use her teleport can you click that feature through? Yes. Let me grab it. Da, 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 da. Oh, come on, she work with me. Where is like, the circus twins are like just gonna have this dog running back and forth between the two of them. Okay. The first things first, though, as this lance collides with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you do yeah, take yeah. the you do till it still get hit by. I the do attack. take the damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, there's an additional effect. Um. You take uh, 2D, uh, you take 17 points of piercing damage, and I do need you to make a constitution save. Constitution save? Yeah. As you become Ooh. paralyzed. Oh. Ugh. Fuck. Um, okay. Which kind of gets rid of the reaction, so you're just stuck there. As you watch this blackness cuts in you, and it's not that the like it pulls back towards him; it's more that it just like sections off of him, and you can feel the darkness flowing into you, and you just feel you feel just sorrow and despair and hopelessness filling you in, like locking you in place. And then, now that you're paralyzed, this creature's gonna make its bite attack against you. Okay. It does have advantage. Um, yeah. 26. Uh, does that hit, Blue? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, it auto-crits. So, this is a lot of damage. I love pulling a... Uh paralyze on us lately. Two points of damage. Uh, 56 points of damage. He's down. Hey. Well, okay. I'm gonna go get food. Uh, Gawain. You press <laughs> through, <laughs> stabbing through, and you see Eggy on the ground. Uh, Simon just <laughs> running for it, running like a motherfucker down. 
What are you doing? Uh, oh. I see her down, so that's she's really only <sighs> one logical thing to do to protect her. I'm gonna hate doing this, but um, let's see. He is. I'm going to do a first thing. He's going to use his loot, oh. and he's just going to just slide a finger across one of the strings, and you see it just glow, and then just wash over him like some like weird radiant wave. Oh, okay. He's going to cast that on himself. And he is going to do a dumb thing and get as close as he possibly can. Okay. You would you to come in there so it's like five, ten. Wait, you got you can you can grab your guy. Two, three, four, five, six, unless I got to thirty five for some reason. Nope, so thirty. Mm -hmm. And I'm just He's just going to. He sees I Iggy down on the ground. He's just going to look, look at her, look at the dog, and just, just whistle for it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's interesting. Make it a handle handling check. Animal handling is not the worst thing in the whole wide world. Let's see how terribly it goes. Ten. <laughs> You want to add anything to that? Uh, I'll add on a health die. Okay. It's a d6. You do need to roll pretty high on it. Nope. Let's see what it does. I just want to get its attention. I don't... Okay. You watch as it, it... You see, like... It's, like, kneeling over Iggy, and then you see Simon go zooming past. Its head turns towards Simon, and you try to, like, whistle at it, but its head's just tracking Simon as he's running along, getting closer to the tree. Which, Simon, I'll say make a uh, make just a pure insight check. Well, I didn't oh. mute that. Um, you know what this thing is. You know that it was like. You were told the story of this thing that this was like the the, the faithful hound of this yeah. guy that was basically made to like maintain like they part of the cruelty was they took its protective instincts and turn and basically took those to leverage it into making sure the curse never got ended. Yeah, and so this thing's operated. This thing in its mind is trying to protect its master, and you can kind of see that. And you can kind of track that in its behavior. And as you're drawing closer to this thing, you are like the biggest threat to its master. The same way that Iggy, because she damaged, yeah. attacked her mas his master, was the biggest threat to his master. Um, but you kind of, with your wisdom, you kind of put that to, the, to get that together. Are you doing anything else to go in? Uh, no. That's gonna be his. That's gonna be his turn. Okay. Um. On its turn, it's going to use a legendary action to charge uh, Sybin. Which, okay. John, you're up, bud. What would you like to do? Bobby? We can't hear you. You muted? Uh, sorry, I was doing math. No worries. Math's hard, so, man. Yeah, I was, I'm going to pick up my skeleton. I'm then going to take the dash action. You could probably just jump that. I know. Yeah. Muscle boy. Yeah. Muscle boy life. Now you're you're large. You could jump that. Yeah, I'm gonna drop my skeleton off here. Okay. You can just Get throw him at, at the guy too if you wanted to. What? Throw him? Yeah. If it was one of your attacks, you could just pitch your fucking skelly at him. Or if you, you could wanted throw to. the skeleton over here and have him start cutting. Throat. That's true. You could try to do that if you wanted to. 
in a bit. Fastball special. Your your skeleton over to the <laughs> over to the guy. I'm gonna action surge, and I'm gonna hop on these doggos back. You're trying to grapple with this bitch? Okay, go for yes, it. Yes, sir. What is that? Uh, uh athletics. Uh, athletics. Yeah, contested. You get a bump to that. He has advantage. Oh no! Um, this thing has a plus four. Hey! You beat hey! it by one! <laughs> Heck yeah. Ah. So you're grabbing onto the dog, and it's like, ah, it's like trying to like reach around. You can actually see, like it still has its collar on, and you can see the tag upon it reads Dora. As you're grabbing it, trying to like hold its head from like snatching behind. Uh, that's one of your actions. What are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna pull the rope out. And I'm gonna try to feed it through its mouth while it's snapping at me. Oh! And kind of use it like a. Interesting. A rain. Okay. I'll say. That's more of like a sleight of hand thing. Yep. And I'm going to use human determination. Okay. Make a sleight of hand check. I'll say contested by its athlete its strength check again. And I want to use a health die. Okay. Add it to it. So 14, it's got to beat a 14 with its strength. Ooh. That was the wrong, I was, uh, ooh, I was pulling out the stat block for a Doomsinger, shit, that would've been bad. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, that is not this, hopefully. Oh, hey, look, a plus 40. <laughs> 11, so yeah, you, it's like gnawing on it, and it like, it, it like, this thing is gonna have disadvantage if it tries to like, get away from you. Um, is that your turn, Jun? My skelly boy is going to come right here. Okay. And he's going to take an attack at the rope. They have a bow? Yeah. yeah. Okay, got... go for it. Yeah, fuck yeah, go for it. Is he like levels his bow and like... Tung! So that is... <laughs> it's your spell attack modifier, isn't it? Which should it's be a 20 eight. to hit. Um, okay. Yeah, uh, 20, 20 just hits the rope as he snipes out at it. It's a it's a narrow rope. It's not an easy target, but that just hits it. Oh, I read it wrong. It's my spell attack modifier. Yes. I'm dumb. Yeah. yeah. So it should be 8, I think, because you have 20 intelligence. Yeah. So that hits? Yeah, roll damage. So, 10. Okay, that's not bad at all. All right, uh, is that your turn? That's my turn. Okay, this creature is in an odd... Okay, I'm going to go through its action. I'm, I'm, I was going to make a bite attack at Saibin. It's going to go through that. I'm going to say that it makes that attack at disadvantage, though, because you got that through its mouth, okay? Okay. So it's making an attack roll against you with disadvantage, Saibin. So the lower of these 2d20s. Okay. So that's a 5 plus 11, uh, 16. Yes, miss. 16 misses. As it, it's like being pulled, it's, it's like literally about to snatch you, and then you, when the rope goes through the mouth, you're just like, it's like inches away from your face. Down, Dora, down. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, that is your turn, Jen. Saibin, you're up. I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. Okay. All right. Now, do I do the druid thing and, like, try and help the doggo calm down? Or do I try and free its master? Uh, I'd probably go for the freedom thing, to be honest. I feel like... I feel like, uh, you know, Jin and I won't be able to handle it for a, at least a turn or two. Okay, because the other problem is most of the ways I can deal consistent damage to the rope involve me dropping concentration on enlarge. You just gotta get up close to it. Yeah. Yeah. Just get close. I'll hold the doggo. Oh, I could get close. I could. I got fifty feet of movement. Best bet is probably use something to pull up Iggy. Oh, I could do that. 35, 40, and then, and then I just can get like can get all the, closer. I can get all the way to here. So, what are you doing? Um, can I 
see Iggy around this thing? Um, you might have to move. Well, here, I'll say roll a perception check. The thing is, like, attacking you right now, though, so you're, oh, a, little, you're a little frightened, so the DC is pretty high. Um, I'll say so, yeah. You kind of, just because, like, your brother sense kicks in and you can see she's on the ground bleeding from, like, a horrible fucking wound on her, um, shoulder that kind of digs into her, like, trapezius and a little bit into her neck. Uh, take 7 HP and 5 temp HP. Iggy. Well, the <laughs> you come back to life. <laughs> yeah. Big brother's got you. Um, all right. Now then, um, John, you better be able to hold that thing. I'll do what I can. Because if, if, uh, if you can't, I'm about to get mauled into oblivion. Um, I will take my, uh, use my action to disengage. Okay. Five, uh, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. 30, or 25, I guess, 35, 40, 45, 50. Okay. Because of Long Strider, I can get all the way to there. And uh, I use my action, I use my bonus action. Use my, yeah, that's my turn. Okay, okay. Uh, Iggy, you are conscious now. <laughs> you see a skeleton standing over you. You look over and you see Judd is wrestling the giant fucking dog. What are you doing? Iggy and Simon are effectively racing. You're muted, by the way. The uh, and then she's gonna shoot the. I like how Iggy and Simon are just racing to see who can get to the guy first. Me too. It's their first speech. Uh, the twenty hits, the seventeen misses. As you throw another one at it, you're like bleeding and limping as you rush forwards. So it's a little difficult to like get onto this guy. Um, but you managed to hit it with one of your blasts. Uh, are you doing anything else? Um. Can I attempt this, though? You can. You're still very much out in the open. Yeah, I know. Okay. That's her turn. Okay. Um. That's your turn. Uh, at the end of your turn, it's going to whip around and try to make a bite attack at you with its last legendary action, Jun. So a disadvantage, because, well, if Jun's yep. on it, how is it going to try and... Well, he's the one, he's the one holding the rope, so the rope doesn't make this a disadvantage. No, I'm just wondering how it's trying to bite him. Mechan well, mechanically, bite grapple him, doesn't impose disadvantage on your attack. Oh, I know, so. I know. I'm just like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it is I'm just like, you know, imagining day, a dog know. trying to be like, yeah. Yeah, you know. I do it. That, they get you eventually. They they've got loose skin, bro. Um, oh, I know. Uh, uh, that's a natural one. As you manage to like hold it out of the way though, as it's trying to like reach back and snap at you. Um, that does take us to its turn. Um, and it is going to use its. Uh, it's as it unleashes its multi attack. It's gonna let out a howl, and I need. Uh. Gawain. I need everybody, actually, to make wisdom saves. What's uh? God. Even though Iggy and I have so already this, made this before, this isn't this, this is not effect. A... It's a different effect. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wisdom save. It's a uh, against the fear. If that's relevant for anybody. Well, I mean, I'm different fear. Because like, different okay, fear. I was gonna say because I'm like. Yeah, that one has a thirty foot range. That's that one has a thirty foot range. Does this does this fall under aberration, celestial, elemental, fey, fiend, or undead? Uh, yeah, I'll say so. Then I can't be feared. You can't be frightened by that? Hell yeah, dude. It's a good time to cast it. Oh, um, I didn't mean to roll. Oh, well, it didn't matter. Okay. Um, all right. So you're immune. Jun has not... Fluffy rolled a natural 20. Um, I need one for your little, little guy. Fluffy. Little guy. Little skelly. <laughs> little man. Unless he's immune to the fear condition. Hey, little uh, man. Me, actually. He's undead. Yeah. I don't know. He can get chewed on. This is a big dog. He's I mean. immune to frotten. Okay. So, Iggy, having felt the teeth of this creature recently, 
You have a lot to be afraid of as this creature's literal holes are only partially healed in you. Um, uh, but then it's going to whip around and it's going to make two attacks at you. As you watch the, the lance of shadow <laughs> knife straight towards you, uh, John. That's a 17 to hit. Negative. And it's going to whip around and try to bite you. That's a 22. Negative. Okay. That's its turn. It's struggling against you. Uh, Gawain, what are you doing, bud? Um, I'm going to get in here and... Hmm. I'm just going to... Actually, here, what else can I cast? What else can I cast? Okay, that's concentration, so I can't cast much else. Uh... Interesting, interesting. I'm going to try and press up kind of around it. Just so I can get one, two, three, four, five. Let's see. Yeah. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's my 30. And then. I don't really have anything useful at that range. Nope, not that range. Um, you viciously mock the rope. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a it, good hanging rope. You ain't a rope. It need not understand me. <laughs> Technically, yeah. It just has to hear me. <laughs> <laughs> No, he's just going to just. He's gonna try and focus, keep this, uh, keep the dog's focus mm -hmm. a little bit, despite the big man on its back. Okay. So just. All right, calm down, boy. Calm down. Go. Calm down, go. Um. Also, make an animal handling check. Oh, it's I think you're the one doing this, and not me. He's a bard. Yeah, this is going oh, yeah. poorly. I mean, plus, you know, you work what you got. Um, you're yeah, this thing. It seems fun. very frustrated to have like John holding its collar. Um, is that the end of your turn, Gawain? Yeah, it's gonna be the end of his turn. Okay, at the end of your turn, it's gonna use two legendaries and release its mind uh, reaving howl. Is it? <laughs> um, John, John summon and. Uh, Gawain, you're the only three who are in range. I need I need wisdom saves from all of you. Is this a charmed or frightened? This is a frightened effect. And it's an I'm immune. Okay, there you go. You're getting your money's worth with that spell slot. <laughs> <laughs> you're going wild, puppy! Oh my god! Mm. And the undead's immune, so you're good. You're chilling. Uh Simon, you're up, what would you like to do? Um Let's see here. I can Oh, if I use that, though, that brute drops the thing, and I can't afford to do that. Um, and that has to be on the ground, so I can't do that. Um, does this rope look like a normal rope? No, it's a Vanta black rope. I think I already explained that. But, like, I guess my question isn't more so, is, like, well, I guess the only way to try it is to get up there and figure it out. Um. 5, 10, 15, 20. I'll get, like, right up underneath this thing. Mm hmm If it's just a rope, it'll burn, right? Um. Do I have something that'll just stick to it, though? No, I don't. That. Okay, I did not think... Uh, I'll just try and... <coughs> staff, I guess. Okay. Um, I will, I will say... Simon's not that smart. Bludgeoning yeah. damage doesn't do anything to a rope. That, yeah, that's what it was like. Yeah. Can I can I touch the rope from here? Yeah. Well, actually, I mean, you're pretty tall. 
I'm seven he's, feet tall, and I'm like, I got. It'd be kind of a jump, even for you. It's a little bit of a jump because he's like three or four feet off the ground. His feet are like three or four feet off the ground, and he's like a little over. He's okay. like just under six feet. So, but you could yeah. like reach up and touch it if you wanted to. Yeah, I will. You just I have will, to like uh, hop a little bit. I will cast produce flame in my hand. Reach up and touch the rope. Okay, roll that d8 or two d8, and just try and set the rope on fire. Yeah. You don't get, okay, uh, you don't get the vibe that this is like a thing that will catch on fire, but you can deal fire damage to it. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> 10 damage. <laughs> there you go, that's not bad. Yeah. Uh. Okay, um, that's my turn. Okay. That's my action, that's my movement, that's my, yep. All right. At the end of your turn, Dora's gonna make an, uh, a bite attack against uh, uh, Jun. Okay. That's a twenty-five. Finally tagged him. Well, maybe not. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yes. Hear you. Shield. What's your What's your base AC? Twenty-three. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that, yeah, that works. All right, so Jesus 28. Christ. How did you get to 23? You took the defense fighting style that you've played that puts it to 21, and then you should have plus four. Plus two shield. Plus two shield? Okay. Yes, sir. At least you don't have haste yet. Yeah. Jeez. Um, Iggy, uh, the taste of your turn. What would you like to do? Hey, you're almost at Avram numbers. I think there's two ways to do it. Blue, if you're you're muted, we. I assume she's being talked at. Yeah, I know my mom's TV is really loud. Oh. Uh, she won't let you shut your door. Uh, no, I, it's closed. It's just she has it really loud. Yeah. Um. <laughs> get her for headphones for Christmas, bro. Uh, twenty-two hits. As it yeah. <laughs> slams into it, the, another couple uh, strands fray. Um, How tall is this tree? Huh? How tall is the tree? Um, it's about. Uh, roll a perception check. Okay. Yeah, I figured. Um, looks like. Uh, looks like it's like. Uh, 30, 40 feet high. That's your turn. Okay. Uh, that takes us to its turn. Um, yeah, it's just gonna... You watch as its tail whips forwards towards you. Or not its tail, it's a uh, lance of necrotic energy. Shoots towards you, uh, Jun. That's a lot. That's 29. That hits. <laughs> um, you take... Uh, 11 points of piercing damage as it <laughs> stabs through you, and I need you to make a constitution save. You said piercing? Mm-hmm. Yes. You said con save? Yes, sir. 17, I think, just makes it. Let me double check. Yeah, 17 just makes it as you manage to shrug off this, like, locking up of your uh, arms and, and muscles. And then it's going to try to bite you. Um, um, as it goes for a attack that you manage to, like, push it and, like, hold it away from you. That ends her turn. Gawain, you're up. What would you like to do? Uh, well, I'm just going to keep... Jun seems to have it handled. I'm gonna get in here and one, two, three, four, five, six, and then bonus action or not bonus action, just uh, action dash. One, two, three, four, five. Six to get below him. 
You have the slashy slashy weapon. I do. But I think it's a piercing uh, weapon, but yeah, we'll get there. It's a long sword. Oh yeah, it is a long sword. You're right, it is slashing. I'm wrong. You're I'm wrong, brother. Go for it. Uh no, I, I that was my action to Oh okay, sorry. To sorry. Dash. Um, <laughs> that's that's my turn. Use your haste and action no, um Okay. Alright. Um That's your turn. Um at the uh at the end of your turn, it's going to use a legendary action. John, I need you to make a wisdom save as it howls once more. Yep. Knew that was happening. Oof. As you guys watch, the howl cuts through the air. You guys glance back and you can see John staggers back and like almost falls to his knees. As like he's just not there and he's like clutching at his throat. As you are like picturing yourself, you're in this moment where its master is choking to death, and it's like taking over your senses and paralyzing you. Um, so he's paralyzed. Yes. <laughs> um, but it can't do anything right now. Um, uh, cause well, actually, it instantly—that's the end of your turn. You can repeat the save, John. I actually forgot at the end of your turn. So I'm gonna repeat the save. It's a wisdom save. I take it that a twelve does not succeed. Uh, that would be a negatory. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> um, let's see. What can Skelly Boy do? Is that a concentration spell? It is. Skelly Boy's down. I think so. Does paralysis break uh, concentration? Uh, no, no. Remember, we the uh, necromancer fight we had a similar situation. Blum, bum, bum, ba, dum, bum, bum. Uh, technically, because paralyzed is the same as being incapacitated. Incapacitated oh, does. does mean you break concentration <laughs> unfortunately well he can always bite me later or he yep. can blight the rope throwing necrotic damage at a, at a, at a curse interesting <laughs> hey, <man. laughs> um, as many things are resistant or to immune to necrotic as you would think they should yeah. be yeah most undead aren't um, uh, at yeah, the end of your dumb. turn, it's going to use a legendary action and fully dash uh, across this area. As you guys, you guys hear Jungle starting back and you hear uh, as this creature is rushing towards all of you. Simon, what are you doing? Um, um, do I do the big thing, guys? Can you just, can you hold it back for a second? I could... I can either hold it back or do a shit ton of damage to the rope. One or the other. You can get up to the rope. How, how high up is the rope? Um, it's like, uh, this guy, It's he's three feet off the ground. He's, like, we'll say five and some change. So, like, a little over eight feet high. Oh, I can climb up the tree. That's easy enough. Yeah, it's not. It's a, it's a, you can see, it's like, um, it's like an old, it's like you've, passing through this place, you realize, like, all these were fake trees, fake plants, fake everything. This tree is like, even though it's long dead, is like the only real thing you've seen your whole time in here. Uh, you can pull them back for just a moment. I can uh, get up to them. I could try. I could try. Um. All right. Whose turn is it? It's yours. Oh shit. Um. Yeah, I could try. Give me a sec. Um, and this might be stupid, but I'm going to cast Wind Wall. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, right? Uh, can I make this a dome, or is it just a... Uh, uh, you shape the wall any way you choose, so long as it makes one continuous path along the ground. Uh, can it go like this? Basically, like through here. 
in one foot. You can shape the. I'm, I'm gonna let me repeat this to you. Yeah. You can shape the wall how in any way you choose, so long as it makes one continuous path. Okay, let me get my drawing tool out. <laughs> it's uh, 50 feet long though, so you can only fill. I think was it five squares, or ten squares rather. Ten squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I can technically fit it all around this thing, but uh, I think I can go one, two, three, four, five, six. You, you, just so you know, this doesn't create difficult terrain from how what I'm reading. Oh, it doesn't. I don't oh, read no, it. No, it's uh, the, 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 the wall lasts for the duration. The wind wall appears creature within its <coughs> area. So this makes a strength save. Uh, it... Oh, I thought this created difficult terrain. Oh, yeah. I was just reading it over. I was like, what? I thought it created difficult terrain. Oops. I was like, oh, that's not what I wanted to do then. Yeah, that's what I was like. This is an odd move for you to make. I was like, oh. Yeah. It's more for, like, protecting you from arrows and stuff is where it kind of gets this big value. Oh, I was going to try and use it as, like, a uh, just a force wall of just, No! <laughs> Don't come in! Hmm. I guess, you know, that's why it's third level and not wall of force. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Well, then, in that case, um, this will make difficult terrain. Um. I'm going to cast plant growth. What? That will make difficult terrain. <laughs> As I can't get rid of the wind wall now. Thinking of the creature. I'll get rid of it for you. Yep. Um. Okay, I need you to also think about this one, because read what it says it does. Oh, are there no plants in the area? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we just said they were all fake. Yeah, there aren't any plants in here. And, like, there's not anything that would allow them to grow. Like, the ground uh, is... Fuck. Yeah. Uh, option three, because I was, you know, really not expecting John to fail that save. Um... I mean, he nat 20 twice. He's kind of using all his luck of... Erupting Earth, that creates difficult terrain. Yes, sir! That'll do it! Um, okay. Uh, you're trying to position it so he he gets it, and then the 20-foot cube is a nuisance. So why don't you just draw it? It's a 20-foot yes. cube, which means four squares on each side. One, two, three, four. All right. Oop. Yep. That's five squares, so ignore the one on the closest to side bin. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes. So it gets him, and it's a nuisance all the way across. Ignore this little bit up here. I didn't mean to draw that. Um. So, uh, what kind of save is that? Dexterity. Dexterity. Okay. As a plus one. Fail. So he gets knocked prone. I think. Oh no! It doesn't get knocked prone. No. I wish it did. Okay, well then never mind. The save doesn't really matter. Um, but you want just <laughs> you can roll damage if you'd like. I uh, I currently roll twenty just says rolling the dice and nothing is happening. I think oh, there it goes. There it goes. Um, it, it, you watch just the, the wow, rock. I would have really rather preferred the second set of rolls. <laughs> yeah, you kind of got you kind of you got too bad you didn't upcast it to like seventh level. Um. You watch his yeah. stones and shards just hammer into this thing's side, and then just kind of, like, fall off, and it doesn't seem to, like, affect this thing at all. But you've created a path before it that is all difficult terrain. Well, if you're gonna do it, do it now! Um, uh, if not, I'm gonna step in next time and cut the rope, one way or another. And then I'm gonna move, uh... Shit, it's just gonna go right for you guys if I move out of the way. Uh, I'll stay put, I think. Okay. Iggy, you're up, girl. What would you like to do? You just deleted John from the board. Oh, because you rolled it. Uh, John, if you could roll initiative again, Buffy. Where is, um... 
I think you did. What was your initiative? It was like 11? 11. Wait, no. That's not right. It's putting Dora before Iggy, even though yeah, I don't Iggy know why. should be before. Maybe it's an alphabetical thing. Iggy, you're up, girl. What are you doing? Um, how far up is the rope on this tree? The rope is about, uh, the start of it, where it's looped around his neck, is about eight feet high. Can she climb up to the tree to the branch that it's, like, uh, tied to, or whatever? Um, yeah, you can try to clamber up, if you'd like. Yeah. Roll, um, um, how are you trying to do it? In any way that doesn't require me to use athletics. <laughs> well, that way it requires you to describe how you use ac acrobatics. I don't you know jump right and now. Swing it. It's like at the trapeze set where you like jump and swing yeah. your way through. Yeah, well, you say it, Blue. <laughs> this is a cool Can I moment. climb this tree like a dumb little goblin jumping from branch to branch? <laughs> I mean that's an athletics check. If you wanna if you want the acrobatics check, you've gotta make it cool. Use your words. Oh, this is fun. Shit. I don't, I don't wanna oh, use my words right now. <laughs> well we're playing D and D, that's kind of like everything it is is your words. Um I don't know. I don't. I don't know. You can misty step up there if you want. I don't want to use the spell slot. You do have a guy with a long sword about to jump up there. Okay, whatever. Um, she'll just shoot the rope then. Okay. <laughs> You see he's kicking and, like, waving back and forth, and you actually make eye contact with the guy, for you can see his wild eyes, the blood veins burst all across it, so that, like, the, uh, uh, the white, I think the sclera, I believe, are all yes. fucking, like, red with blood, um, as he's struggling, his face is all red, and you can just see this, like, haggard, cursed individual who's been in just agony for God knows how long. Um... And it distracts you in that moment. Um, do you want to do anything else with your turn, Blue? No. Okay. That brings us to her turn. 10, 20, 25. Wait, no. I did my math wrong. 10, 20, 30, 4. Yeah. 40 dash 50 um, and then just call it whatever it gets there and it has to use its action though to push through um, and that ends its turn Gawain you're up what would you like to do uh, for this he's going to find he's going to scan around scan up and down the tree then he's going to find kind of any gnarled root or anything he can get a get a footing on and try and just skip between skip between the branches of like basically trying to grab a footing off the uh, trunk and then onto any branch that sticks out sure, and swing it. and get his way up there Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. 24. That'll do it as you <laughs> quickly work your way up there. <clears throat> and then he's just going to get right up to the rope. He's not going to touch it with his bare hands. Oh, but that's he, a good is idea. Go he is going to kind of jam the sword up against it and just continuously try and like cut away at okay, it. Okay, okay. I'll say roll an arcana check. Um 
Uh, and uh, make your attacks. Six. Okay, nope. Uh, but you can go for your attacks as you're sawing away at this thing. You can see there's bigger chunks are beginning to fray off of this thing. It, it uh, make your two attacks. Uh, pa, 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 pa. where was where was it worse? There it is. I'll say the AC is only like 15. Oh, okay. yeah. And now that you're not like at a distance trying to shoot at it, it's only like 15. So yeah, both hit. Damn, that was a lot. 12, uh, 14. 26. 26. Yeah, this thing's looking pretty... The, the rope's looking pretty frayed at this point. Come on, come on. Um, uh, do you want to do anything with your bonus action? You know what? Yeah, bonus action... Actually, I won't even call it bonus action since... Uh, I'm going to use a blade flourish. Okay. Add another D8 in there. Uh, he's going to use the slashing flourish, as is <laughs> aptly named. Aptly named. Question. Okay, so roll a D8, and then I get twice that. Yes, sir. Ooh, Damn! 14 another fourteen. Yeah, this thing's looking pretty beat up. It's not going to take a lot more to get this thing to fall apart. Is that your I'm turn? Just gonna yell down. Yeah, I'm gonna yell down to Iggy. That's a. Uh... I'm just gonna yell down to her. It's almost cut. Just don't hit me. Okay. No promises. <laughs> Smile. Pushes him ten Never. feet into the air and then. <laughs> um, um. Uh, at the end of your turn, Gawain, it is going to use a legendary action. You can see the guy the guy who's hung up, you can see these this just, just emaciated, like ruined satyr, or fawn rather, um, with the neck is like is like struggling and pulling his rope and reaching for the dog and he's like Dora No <laughs> trying to like get her to stop. But she's going after you, Sybin. Okay. Um Because Gwain's up the tree technically, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so he'd be like here then. Chris would be yeah technically. I mean technically going up there you would have ate an opportunity attack. So let me just roll that real quick. Um. Does a twenty-seven hit Chris? Can I roll persuasion to see if it doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> say no. If I roll a higher persuasion check, can I say it doesn't hit? Unfortunately, no. You take 27 points of a piercing damage. It's massive teeth dig into your like your your ass, essentially, as you pull away. It keeps a piece of chunk of you, but you manage to get up the, the tree and just do your thing on it. Um, however, that, that's not the first bitch to do that. Bite his ass. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Um, it, fun ways, <laughs> um, bite attack on you, Sybin. Um, okay. That's a 21. Uh, yeah, that hits. Okay. So that's uh, not that bad, actually. Uh, only 18 Wait, points how, of piercing damage. Sorry, how much damage was that, Jake? Uh, 27. Yeah. 27? Oh, okay. Yeah, this thing hurts. Um, it just hasn't touched shit all day! <laughs> um, yeah. Aside from blue. Well, it's paralyzed or the one who was able to hold it. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. John did work. He ate multiple rounds off of it. Um, Stop. What's up? Well, you're, it comes to your turn. You're paralyzed as you're, like, picturing yourself. You are, like, in your mind, you are choking to death. And you're struggling. You guys can actually see, if you glance over, his giant face is, like, turning. Well, yeah, no, his giant face is, like, turning red and purple as he's, like, I not still breathing. I concentrating on it on us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. still, like, he's, like, oh, 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 oh. It's, like, really loud because he's... Uh, but, John, uh, at the end of your turn, you can make a wisdom save. Eleven. Oh. Yeah. As you're still just, like, choking to death. Um, Sybin? Yeah, I have this thing right in my face. Yes, you do. And I can't... And if I leave, it's gonna go after Gwen or Iggy. It's your call. So there's not... I guess I gotta just hunker down... Taking the dodge uh, action? Probably gonna be the dodge action. Mm -hmm, not gonna lie. 
the dodge action sounds really good right about now. <laughs> I will be taking the dodge action. And, uh... Bonus action, I will bomb of the summer court myself. Just to hopefully live this barrage I'm about to take. Okay. So... You see this thing's like literally, and you can see like a parts of it as it's like, it's almost like it's hackles are rising, but it's actually just shadow that's coursing off of it. And it seems to almost swell in size. And then it actually does swell in size. Um, Son of a bitch. Oh, you got bigger again. Um, oh, God. Wait, hurry up. Um, uh, Iggy, Iggy, what are you doing, girl? Oh, jeez. Uh, pew pew. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> don't don't roll don't don't roll a natural one. Twenty yeah, both twenty sevens. You're like song on it and it literally boom, cuts right past your face and slams into it this like explosion a small explosion of wildfires that like cut into it. Nineteen. It's looking beat up. It's looking like it's barely holding together. That's her turn. Um, at the end of its turn, it's going to use a legendary action to make a bite attack against you, Sybin. Okay, I took the dodge action. So this one's at disadvantage. Yeah. That's hey. a natural one. A natural one misses. Then that takes us to its turn. It's going to make its, uh, um, its necrotic lance against you. Um, Me. disadvantage. Yep. That is a 16 to hit. Miss. And then it's bite, which Miss. is a fifteen to hit. <laughs> Simon tank. <laughs> <laughs> Tanky Simon. That's that's her turn, Gawain. That brings us to your turn. What are you doing? Uh, keep. <laughs> just gonna keep trying to cut. Just gonna keep trying to cut. <laughs> See, like Simon, like pinned a leg against one of its jaw, like his shield against it, like. Ah! Ah! <laughs> 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 like moving his body in between is like yeah Bad dog Um Uh the nope. twenty-four hits. Let's see how high you roll with that one. That's important. Well, actually why don't you roll uh, it real quick? I'm gonna grab water and go to use the rest of the is also you going to <laughs> Yeah. Uh-huh. Well and ooh, four. Sixteen. If I can get back to John, I can get him up, not this round, but next round. The problem is, is it leaves this big ass thing right here with you two. So I can thunder step and get back to John. I've got enough in me that if you had to peel off to grab him, yeah. I feel like the. Call me Joel. By the powers of the charisma dog. combined, Iggy and I can survive. Right. So what'd you do? Did oh, did you uh, did you with slashing for it flourish? Yeah, so no, sixteen can... total. Jun. You finally force your way out of that vision of choking to death, of dying. And you stagger, and you can see uh, Iggy circling around the tree, flinging out these blasts of wildflowers. You see Saibin struggling with this creature whose mouth is nearly the size of his torso trying to like literally eat him alive and he's got one foot on one leg and it's shield pressed against the top like of its jaw and like is like getting shoved against the tree and in that moment you glance up and you see Gawain perched amongst the boughs his rapier out sawing like a man gone wild and you hear a and then there's a shockwave that washes out. All of you are 
thrown to the ground. Gawain, you're thrown from the boughs of the tree, slamming to the earth. And you glance up. And as this shockwave ends, the wind kicking up all the the fake dust and the dust and fake leaves swirling around you. You look and you can see leaned against the bow, struggling, pulling the noose from his neck. The fawn who leans and he stands up and he looks at the, uh, he looks at Dora and you see she approaches him shrinking down the shadows that like had consumed her slowly like fading away to you see just a like a dog in front of him he's like come girl we can rest now and then the two of them fall back and whoosh, into dust you see um Where they were, this small pink creature. It's like a smooth stone, um, but cracked down the middle and like bent almost. And you can see uh, four pairs of like angel wings kind of float at the back of it. Almost like, and it's almost the stone, the way it's cracked and bent, it's almost shaped like the, like, classical version of, like, the the classical idea of, like, how you would draw, like, hearts, kind of. Um, but then you watch as, uh, equally as pink as the rest of it, a um, snake begins to slither out of that crack and begins to swirl around its body. It's just kind of floating there. It's like not big. It's like the size of your fist. I'm gonna grab it. I must say, could I cast speed with animals? Um, it doesn't appear to be an animal. I Iggy on the snake, not the. the you. This appears to be one thing. It's not oh, okay. the snake is like just an abstraction of what appears to be a complex entity. Um, roll a religion check, Simon. Oh god. Religion. Scythen religion check? Oh nay. 17! 17. Uh, this appears to be some kind of spirit. Oh? Um, okay. and you're not really... You are somebody, as as a druid, you're obviously, you're a, you know, uh, you're an exhortative uh, spiritual caster, which that means a lot right. to you. Um, um, but you do, you do know, like, even you know that, like, sp druidic magic comes to us via spirits, the manipulation oh. of spirits. Um, much the same way bards manipulate spirits through, like, their song and dance. Um, yeah. Uh, you don't really know a lot about spirits. That's not, it wasn't really something emphasized yeah. with your upbringing, with your druid yeah. upbringing, and your, even the parts that might have been brought up, you kind of missed out on because you, 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 you're dumb. Um, yeah, sorry, but come on. Yeah, the yeah. scholarly part of uh, druidism does a bit elude you. Um, yeah. but it's something almost... about this thing. It is a gift. Yeah. Go ahead, Simon. All right. Uh, hey there. How you doing? I'm gonna just like, kind of like, put my hand out like underneath it, basically. Okay. As you reach out and touch it, you watch as it. <laughs> flows into your skin and then slides across your hand and onto your forearm and uh, you see there my invisible windy forearm oh uh, wait yeah okay never mind R roll rewind <laughs> and he travels travels oh. up that arm and into yeah. your onto your chest and you're okay. like pulling your shirt open you can see it is now a tattoo on your chest 
Get to. Okay. Well, that will. Okay. Um, and you, uh, you, um, have, um, uh, you are now hosting a, a lesser spirit of mercy. Um, I'll get it writ written to you, but anytime you heal a creature, they heal an additional two hit points. Hey! Um, but Gawain, since you're the guy who, who off this thing, uh, well, ended this curse, um, as you leap down, you watch as the, as, like, some of the wind from that shockwave kind of, like, courses back and kicks away the dust that these two, that the, both the dog and the fawn dissolved into. And you see an item lying there, and to determine what it is, why don't you roll me a d100, Chris? Woo! Yeah, it's a pretty good roll. What'd he roll? 91. Oof, that is a good roll. Can I add an inspiration? <laughs> no. <laughs> 132. Huh? <coughs> I don't even know if they're really organized like that, too, so. You kind of just don't. If you roll above low, because low is usually where the consumables are, if you roll above low, then you're good. Um, what, 91 did you say, Chris? Yes. Um, one sec. Hey, Jen, you okay? So, Chris, I'll give you, uh, I'll give you, um, an option. If you would like to, you could re-roll that. This one time, I'll let somebody do that. Uh... If you wanted to. I re-roll it. <laughs> You're offering. It's worth, it's a, it's a, I'll tell you, it's a magic item that's worth a lot of money. Mm -hmm. um, but nobody in the party will be able to use it. Oh. Rough. I mean, quick vote, do we want something we can sell, or? It's up to you. Yeah, kind of, yeah, it really is up to you, Chris. It's your call. It is a magic item that, that is worth a lot of money, but it's also, but... Items of that also take a lot of time to like sell, so you don't have to keep that in mind. You know? so, uh, I'm guessing we got some spell book, and it's like, oh. But it's just not. It's not wizard. something any. It's not a spell book, but it's just All something right, that you know. I'll just I'll, I'll re-roll it. If it's gonna take forever yeah. to spell, go for it. Go for it. Yeah. Nineteen. Ah, oh, crap. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Can we at least get a different item? Well, this table. My tables are kind of stacked. This is a good one. Wait, that, no, wait, that's the wrong table. You literally rolled the inverse of your first roll. Correct? That is kind of weird. Um, Can we just take a middle? No. Average? <laughs> that, uh, one let me, let me look this one up real quick. Can we just take a mulligan right now? Mulligan? <laughs> you already got your mulligan, you animal. Um, let, me read, let me just read what this one does. Okay, yeah, this one's pretty rad. You see, um, as it peers away, you see a necklace, a rib cage, weirdly enough, golden up front, silver uh, for like the sternum and the, uh, I think it's actually cartilage that kind of lines from it that attaches to the ribs, uh, which are they themselves silver that come to a silver spine. It's a small pendant. And you can see within this is a, a deep red ruby. Mm, no. Damn it. Do I have ritual cast identify on it? Oh, uh, well, you would if the ceiling didn't start collapsing around you. Oh! As the curse yeah. has faded, the that was the curse was that was sustaining this place. It is now collapsing in on you. You watch as the trees begin to collapse. For spaces of the ground begin to sink hole in. What are you guys doing? Oh. Uh. Turning into a panther and running. Okay. I'm gonna grab Chris and uh, Iggy. Uh huh. Gwen and Iggy, and I'm just gonna take off. As you begin to rush along. Uh, since you're the only one carrying somebody, why don't you make me a deck save, uh, I John? Have, I, 
I, let's see. I am a panther. Yeah, you're moving fast spider. as fuck. I'll let you make. You get to make a deck save. You get to make yours an advantage. Uh, 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 Sybin. Twenty. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's not proficient in saves. So uh, this will be just a dex check at advantage, I guess. Yes. Oh, uh, one of those is a natural one, and the other is a twenty. Good. As you, the initial begins to cl collapse around you as things are crumbling down. You guys manage to avoid any of the damage as things are collapsing around you. But you begin to race it, and you watch. You as you're looking back, you see the the clearing, the tree begins to collapse inward and you watch as there's like a wave of collapse originating out from the tree as it sinks through it was the anchor point for this cursed like demi plane you've entered and you watch as the tree collapses everything around it begins to collapse and there's like a wave chasing behind you and as you guys are rushing forwards i need you to make your choice of an athletics or acrobatics check uh Simon, you're because the panthers are fast as fuck you can make yours with advantage 25 you're good Oh, it's the same thing again. It, it, these aren't... Per these things don't have a plus to athletics? Wow. Most things don't have a plus to athletics. Uh, 18. 18's good! As you... The two of you... John, you just body your way through some of, the, for some of the debris that gets in your way, knocking over some of these, like, trees that are made out of glass and paper and stone. And, uh... Sybin, you just weaving back and forth using the agility to like literally jump up into a tree and jump over another one, uh, leaping across boulders and such. As you guys press out and come out the other side, clear of the, of the clearing. As you watch this grove mostly folds in on itself. You watch a space begins to fold in on itself. As the trees that rim the outside and the structure almost begins to like suck into this thing before there's a snap that almost blinds you all as dust kicks up. And when you look, what was once like probably maybe a couple hundred feet across this grove is now instead, you know, a small, small like collection of trees. The few real ones that line the outside that are now maybe 20 feet across. And, sp as sp and there's like warbles in the air as reality and space equalizes itself back to normalcy. But you guys have successfully escaped. Yeah. Now, now the more pressing question is: Is who won the race out of there between Johnny and well, Simon? Well, John, John probably because he rolled a higher try. Fair enough. You dodged. I went straight. Yeah. That's true. He went through. I did spend movement going around, even though I had more of it. Um. But yeah, if you guys want to take a beat to catch your breath, you can take a short rest. Technically, yeah, that was like that was only like one of the encounters of the day. Yeah. I'm gonna ritual cast identify. Oh yeah, sure. It is, um, it is the Heartless Cage Pendant. Um, well, do I have the heart here? No. <laughs> Dang. That's why, part of why, because it was... You can look it up. Um, it is a Griffin Saddlebag item. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, uh... I think a little break might be in order. That was a little break might be in order. Huh. How's everyone doing? Oh, oh also, God. oh, for the Look. record, John, you have a snack too. So does Gwen. Gwen has a snack, and I guess. Bro, he is a snack. Well, obviously, he got a piece of his ass eaten. See. He got his ass eaten like in that I'm fight. <laughs> Got his salad tossed mid-fight. Okay. <laughs> um. Huh? What? I'm oh, reading yeah. this. Oh, what is it? Well, enlighten us. Those of us that, you know, can't see or do anything. I'm still reading. You add that thing. What'd you call it? Lesser Spirit of Mercy? Uh, I'll, I'll write it to you. Don't write it down yourself, because last time you did that, you forgot what the actual one was. Or somebody did, I don't know. But yeah, it, it, is, it is a Lesser Spirit of Mercy. That you've yeah, so it's just plus two healing any time I do healing, right? Uh, yes, I'll write it out, so it's less abusable, obviously. So you can't do, like, 
I don't know. But yes. Once per uh, what is it? Once per round? No, I'll just I'll I'll, I'll write it out because there's ways okay. you can kind of leverage that and like to do dumb shit. Hey, the conga line's back, guys, with healing spirit. Like so. Um. Um. But yeah, you. It's a heartless cage pendant. I don't know if you looked it up. Um, Gawain, since you found it, uh, why don't you roll me the d4 to see how many ribs it has? Uh, 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 two. Hmm. Okay. So ten. Ten. Ah, uh, ten. Oh. Oh, interesting. <clears throat> oh Jesus! Yeah, <laughs> just got up to the part that, yeah. When you do, you get to holy. Fuck. Yeah. Any spell of fifth level or lower creatures immune to affect its legendary actions. Okay, so we can't finish off a boss. Yeah. Take shadows from this room. So it does a really crazy kind of some Oh. <laughs> Yeah. All right, we are going to have to uh we're going to have to make some use of that over time. Yeah. Yes, it is limited use though, just so you, just so you know. Yeah. Once you burn through the ribs, it's done zone. And we have 10 ribs, so we have 10 charges. Mhm. Mm Who's it going to? Uh, question, John, attunement? Yes. One slot. Okay. No, I was asking if the item oh, itself yes. is attunement. Oh, yes. My okay. bad. Yes, it is. Okay, because I'm tapped. Uh, I think I'm as well. Because I know Hyacinth is tapped. It might just go to you, John. Oh. Because <laughs> he needs more tapping. Because I don't know if... I don't know if anyone else has uh, an attunement slot available. Cause I know I don't. I know Gwen doesn't. I don't think Blue does. Yeah, I would say it would either go to you or, you or I Blue. Since... It doesn't. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think Blue's. I think the thing with Iggy is if Iggy doesn't get her boots back, then she has an attunement spot. But if she does get her boots back, she she's tapped, I think. Boots aren't attunement. Oh, they aren't? That's why they're super nice. Okay. She still might be attuned out, though. And then... Yeah, I think it might either just... It might just go to Jun or Spec, then, I think. Anyway, are you doing Song of Rest, Chris? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I need to roll my own hit points. Yeah, I need to roll mine. I'm not taking a short rest. Oh yeah, roll that song of rest to see if I need to roll a second hit die or not. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty okay. Let's see, you get your short. Oh yeah, that puts you get your song of rest. Oh yeah, wait, well, you already put that through. Yeah, and then two d six. Yep. I, I don't need it anymore. Just the one. Tasty. Nice. Oh, I might as well just... Eh, I already spent it. I don't really care. DM, I'm not taking a short rest. No? No. Why? Because he has max hit points. Because I have temp HP that will go away if I take a short rest. Smart, 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 smart. Yeah. All right. I think Iggy will probably need to take a short rest. Blue gets back because she did say BRB. What encounter number was that for today? One. Uh, no. Yes. We did the Titan encounter, didn't we? Titan? Sorry. Giant. They were basically Titans. They were e evil. Oh, yeah, that was today. Oh, um, yeah. Let me see. I mean, I'd, I'd have to scroll up to see what I rolled on the D4. I'll just re-roll it to see. Oh, which that. case. Hold on. That puts me... And I would not have had those... 
two extra hit dice. Yeah, so um, one in the song of rest, yeah. The song of rest was almost as much as those two hit die, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. Uh, that makes it twenty or nineteen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sybin can get. You have a snack from Sybin too, which. Uh, how much is the? A snack is uh. You get six temp HP. Six? Okay. Yep. That'll work. All right. Uh, I have to step away for a second. Okay. To go. Yeah, that was the hill giants that were eating people and like throwing horses and shit. And my brain just went, "Oh, these are Titan." Okay. (laughs) 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 Yeah. Are we just I... turning Joan into a necromancer? Apparently. Seems like Apparently. the direction is going. Apparently. You thought you were going to be a war wizard. <laughs> Joke's on you. Joke's on me. Um, I have skelly boys for days. <laughs> skelly boys. Um, I guess if, if you guys want to take a quick break, just so Chris yeah. can, we can wait until Chris gets back. Maybe give Blue a chance to catch yeah. up. You guys, you guys want to take, uh, we'll say, t- uh, take like five? Yeah, you want to write up that lesser spirit thing for me? Sure. I can do that. I'm gonna go grab a snack though. I'm gonna okay. be big. I'm right here, baby. Damn. You tasty. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you. Oh, wow. Holy shit. What? I get on Twitter and, um,. <laughs> So, Grey Delisle posts on Twitter, the kid in front of me is on this flight is watching Avatar The Last Airbender. Should I tell him? Grey Delisle is a voice actor for Azula. <laughs> I'm like, that's so cool. Like, yes. Yes. She's like, should I? Yeah. And all the comments on the thread are like, yo, just do the voice like right in his ear, like right behind him. Bro, that's amazing. Have you seen all the crazy shit that comes out in January? Uh, Fluffy? I guess not.
Hello. I'm back. Hello. You want to roll a hit dice for your short rest? Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot my drink. Oh. No, you do. Sorry, yeah. I'm back. Creature was talking to me. All right. Oh, She's making me a glass of wine. Ooh. Yeah. My parents got me a little wine cooler to put in the house. Nice. Yeah. Why did you say it like that? Because now I could be a fancy alcoholic. Hmm. Is that a yeah. good thing? Like my mom. Um, add 11 to your hit dice rolls, Blue, from Chris's Song of Rest. Plus 11! Yeah. Blue, achievement slots. Uh, I just have the rod of the Pact Keeper. So you have two. Yep. Do you want magic item? Sure. It is in the chat. In the chat. It is, and in roll twenty, just scroll <clears> up <throat> the massive wall of text. When Chris gets back, we'll uh, keep on trucking. All right. Just for a little while. Oh, skeleton! <laughs> okay. Uh. Is there a handout for this? No. It's not an official item, but it's an official Griffin saddlebag item, so you just gonna look at it. Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Same way I won't give you a handout for like a plus one weapon, because you just look it up. Mm -hmm. It has ten charges, Blue. Sick. Can I attune to it? Um. Not yet, no. You finish your short rest. Okay. And. I'm about to say she couldn't attend to it while short resting. He had to identify it. Oh. That took 10 mm. minutes. Okay. We can wait around the extra 10 minutes. That is true, huh? I don't know why I thought it was like an hour for some reason. Yeah, you can you can attend it, Bill. Never mind. Sorry. Sick. I'm not at 100% right now. I'm Neither sorry. am I. You're at 110 percent. No, I want to die. <laughs> Same. I forgot my drink. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Bruh. I'm buying clothes. Bro, dude, you rolling the back to back net twenties on those wisdom saves is hilarious. <laughs> I saved Simon yet again. Mm -hmm. We would have had that encounter in the bag, Simon. Yeah. Of course, I would have just snapped the branch once I got the, to the tree. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering if anybody would try that. I thought about trying to cast a spell magic on the rope to turn it back into a regular rope. <laughs> Bro, you, that, I don't know if you, you'd have to upcast that to like at least 7th level to have a shot at it. Well, I can't. It would have been yeah, I had I know. to roll at least a seventeen. That's the thing. That was the well. That was the the working of a curse by some very like three very powerful spellcasters. So one one you know you know medium low level druid would have kind of a hard time dispelling it. <laughs> Unless I rolled like a god. No. It's one of those things where you wouldn't even get the shot at it if you're not casting it at a high enough level. Okay. Well, that's a good thing I didn't do that then. It was just like, oh. Yeah. You know. For some reason, I always think plant growth is like the spawn plants, not the make plants all that are already there grow. I mean, usually it, it's kind of like that, but you literally, like, you yeah. went to go cast it in a place that, like, I had, like, narrated multiple times had no plants in it. It yeah, was kind of funny. Like, um, yeah. Um, uh, Chris, you back? Now that'd be a no. 
that, that wouldn't indeed be a no. And um, are you guys? Is I don't know if Discord's picking it up because I don't know if I set my settings up for the mic correctly. Are you guys hearing me in the like in the background if I'm typing on my keyboard or? No. Okay. Type on your keyboard. Nothing. We're not. We're not okay, hearing. Okay. Cool. All right. Good. I had to play with my mic a whole bunch the other day to like get it to settings and stuff. And I was like, oh, I don't know if anyone, if this will actually work or not. Yeah. Um, no worries. Um, Oh, I cut a few things from the vampire. Yeah. Uh, just to save proficiencies, that's a little over the top. And it's just a plus one in every stat. Okay. I think that was like all I, know, I, I liked, you know, I liked the ability to look at my stats and be like, I am proficient in five of my six saving throws at level one. No, go, go fuck yourself. Like, hmm, I am proficient in everything but intelligence. Bad. No. You, you have downsides, so you get a lot, but you don't get, like, that's a little wild. Hello. Hey Hello. there. Hey. Hi. How is everyone? Dying. Oh, oh no, what happened? Still suffering <laughs> from PTSD. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what from Rip? Oh, what is this? The submarine impact on the... <laughs> Bro, you joke. That was probably scary as fuck. I would be like, "Holy oh, shit, we're all gonna die!" For like a solid twenty minutes at least. Well, I think after the fear of getting that, the next thing I'd be worried about is the man. We're gonna get our asses. Then the nice thing, though, Chris, ass. is you can get in, you'll get into like a car crash at some point. You'll be like, "Ah, oh, that's fine. I've, I've been in way worse. Don't worry about it." <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. Um. Okay, Chris is back. Uh. All right, uh, so you guys, resting up, bandaging yourselves, set out. And pretty Not quick, I. winding your way through the hills pretty quickly, uh, you find your way, um, let me double check this real quick. I am John, the dog rider. The, the first of your many titles, that you fuck dogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm the machine! And I fuck <laughs> I am the machine! <laughs> you guys find yourselves. Um, let me pull this up real quick. Winding through these hills, leaving the like sparse, <gasps> hilly uh, slush and uh, uh, coursing small little streams that like are only really here for like the next like couple weeks from dissolving snow. Pushing along through the slippery mud and slush. You round a corner and you see before you sold in. It is um it is a strange town. You can see um it's it's small, not that big. Um probably supports less than less than like maybe six thousand people live here. Um compared to uh um uh, Cochise, which had around 38,000 people living in it. Um, but it is a strange town. Um, you can see uh, on the edges of it, the lower, it is, it is built, it built up a hill, essentially. It kind of wraps around and up a, up a hill. Multiple hills, really, as it kind of goes up. You can see um, at its lowest levels on the edges, you can see like roughly hewn stone buildings thrown together from like roughshod stone to make these little uh but like they sh squat but quite wide houses that you can see um uh dusty uh heart you know laborers kind of like going about their business through um as you look up a ways uh, further uh, up the hill you can see a um a town that is very 
to most of you, I would say is very confusing. It is a very nice town. Uh, you can see, like, they have lamps, gas lighting, which you, which many of you, some of you have never seen. Um, and certainly none of you have ever seen since you left, uh, you, something you guys haven't seen since you left, uh, behind, uh, Clashia. Uh, you see gas lamps beginning to flicker on as evening begins to fall, um, as the sunset casts its light over the town. Um, but you can see these paved streets with planters kind of lining the sides of the road that have flowers kind of beginning to work their way into bloom. As spring uh, is coming, you see the storefronts of uh, of like stone brick two story buildings, well constructed, bright colors, friendly and inviting. There's like uniform, uh, like styling across this plate. Not not like monochromatically uniform, but like there's a general like friendly, slightly country, but like way way more nicer than any like country cottage would ever actually be for these buildings. Um, uh, and you can see kind of rising in the center of that is a f is this large tower, which I think most of you, many of you don't know what this is. This is, well, actually, I think most of you could probably pick it out, this tower, because uh, literally floating next to it is, in the air, is a large sky ship. And you see, there this, for whatever reason, this town of 6,000 souls has a skyport which even Cotrice doesn't have a skyport so like what the fuck <laughs> what's this tiniest town ha doing having this skyport uh. um, and and you can see that there is a not, not a large one just a small catch is kind of currently like moored to it kind of floating there in the air and as you look past it um uh, you can see a uh, even further up that hill, up until where it's more sparsely wooded and there's still like snow kind of clinging. And you can see like it, it's a pretty significant hill. Uh, it stands out amongst some of these other ones. Um, you can see <coughs> here and there there is just like they're log cabins, but they're the most opulent log cabin you've ever log cabins you've ever seen. Like two, some even three stories, wide sprawling. Uh, wide sprawling structures you can see there's been areas cleared around them so they have like gardens around them um, it is it is a very to, to many of you it's it's a very strange sight um, uh, Gawain you can make a history check about this place it sounds like the rich people mountain getaway nope Nope. Never heard of it. Not really your thing. Um, but you guys take in the lights. You can see the light. It's not like super late. It's like four in the evening. But like the sun, because it's like, you know, still a little bit winter. It hasn't quite hit the soul. You know, it's still like the sun's starting to sink and it's casting. Her, uh, and the gas lamps are beginning to like. You can see like people are walking through and setting the igniting all of them. Um. Uh, you see, uh, what are you guys doing as you, as you approach the town? Um, is there a name, like, on the ship, on the sky ship? You would need to be much closer to see that. Okay, even with my good vision? Do you, I would click the eyes of the eagle through? Would they give you, like, better vision at distance? Uh, I get, like, two miles. Like that I said, click, click the item true. I know I have it on here somewhere. You can make out details, even extremely distant creatures and objects as small as two feet across. Um, there's more, I think. Okay, extremely distant, though. That's the, specifically yeah. this situation. Yeah. Um, let me... <coughs> Let me pull it up its name real quick. Um, thick lettering. <laughs> well, it's his eyes. 
You see, like, he looks, and then, like, the three different, like, the three-layer magnifying glasses just come ding, out, ding, ding. out of nowhere. Um, yeah, it's called the fortuitous circumstance. It... Simon can't read any of those words. I don't even know why I asked. Simon can't fucking read. Fatutu <laughs> Topo High. Should have should have kept on going to school, buddy. F. O. Four. Four. You can you can I, I'll give you this. You can copy the letters out, and then somebody who can read them properly can make it out make get the word for you. Yes. Uh huh. But yes. I'll take like a stick in the snow and write it out. <laughs> Gawain can read it for you. Yes. That. <laughs> They're all like druid craft the snow to like shape itself into the letters. Mm -hmm. Except it, they're like shaped into the letters like if a four year old wrote Aww, them. Oh, that's so cute though. <laughs> um. But yeah, you guys, you you leave the city ahead of you. You guys want to step into it? It doesn't. It doesn't. There, you can see that there's like, there's like guardsmen. They, uh, they have. They're like, if a ranger. Uh, let me think about it. Should be. They look kind of like if a ranger, um, was sponsored by REI a little bit. Like a little bit like classy and cleaned up. Um, but they all have rifles, and you see, like, there's, like, a handful of them that are kind of patrolling, and they kind of look you up and down, and don't give you much of a thought as they, uh, yeah. continue their patrolling. And right, so been, like, waves as they walk off. Bye. Well, yeah, I'm gonna go into town. We gotta, this is where we gotta drop Fred off, right? I don't right. think you made a gas mask. This is where we're going to meet our uh, contact at. Oh, uh, this is? That's why you came mm -hmm. here. Well, all right. I don't know about that, so uh, I'm just going to look at the pretty shops. Okay. Maybe uh, find some baked goods. Who knows? All right. Uh, is there any particular... Are you... Are you... Are you going into use, town? Is that the nice part I'm of going town? Into, I am going into town, and I will use my nose to guide me to wherever smells good. Okay. There's that. There's that. <coughs> there's a small handful of shops. You see, there's uh, a. Uh, there's a. You go by. There's two like as you're going through. There's two like major restaurants you run into. It's one is called Osso Valley Originals, and they 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 like it's um. Uh, they have like uh, like braziers kind of lining it, and actually have outdoor seating. Um, um, enough with like enough braziers to keep people warm. A lot of them still have their like have small like you know light coats on, but it's nice out there. But you can see they have an interior, and it, and it's very much like it's like faux. Uh, let me think about this. You know that, like, kind of fake, like, cowboy gold rush kind of, you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Kind of that, but, like, a cla the classy version of that. If you, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but, like, very classy yeah. version of it. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah, I'll they... Send you a photo. Yeah, he, Chris could probably knows what exactly what I know exactly about. what you're talking mm -hmm. about. But they... Um, but they like really press... They, 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 they exclusively deal in local, local cuisine... Um, uh, and they talk about how, like, how, like, these are, like, the food that's native and how they, like, source it from here and all, all this, like, talk about, like, um, uh, I forget what the word is, but it's uh, about how, like, true and native it is. Um, and you kind of, you kind of glance over the menu and you're like, ooh, because basically everything you, like, ba almost everything here you could get at Coochie's. Yeah, but it's like two to three times the price here at this restaurant. Ooh. Yes, there's very much a like uh, these are catering to the wealthy. Um, yeah, and then there's another one that's called Le Mac, uh, um, and it is uh, just very fucking fancy. 
Um, and as you kind you kind of have... you kind of glance in, and there's actually like a magical component to these meals. And there's like as people like cut in, there's like bursts of light and color, and they like have weird shapes that like transform into other things. Bad. Yeah, a little bit. Um, um, but yeah, you also see there's like a cinnamon roll cart that um, is like looks like they're about to close up. Um, you see all <clears throat> kinds of a lot of the nick like the the stores that sell like hiking equipment. Um, uh, you kind of glance at the prices, you're like ooh again because you like know the prices of these things, and they're all like two to three times their normal now, pricing. How um, how marked up is the cinnamon roll? Um, it's not cheap, but, you know, it's also a cinnamon. But they're also, like, fucking huge. They've got, like, the, like, yeah. mo- they're literally drowning in the it's uh, like cream the cheese size icing. It, it's, like, the size of Iggy's head. A little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then, um, you see all kinds. They have lots of, like, knickknacks for sale at a bunch of the stores. Like, uh, like, you see t-shirts with, like, fucking slogans on them. You see when it says, like, Golden Solden! And it's, like, yellow, and it's got, like, red lettering, and it's got, like, a smiling person uh, uh, in, like, a depiction of, like, the Flesh Gorge. And you see, you see like, a diorama of the Flesh Gorge, which kind of, uh, ironically, as you kind of look at it, looks a little bit like a vagina. Um... And you see like plushies of like the aberrations that come out of the flesh gourd. They're like hor they're like cute, but you're like, I'm gonna have to fight that and I know it's not gonna be that cute when I do it. Um Yeah. Um but yeah, there's all kinds of shit here. It's like it, it is like like Chris said, it, it is like it's it's a little bit like Aspen. It's like a like bougie <laughs> resort town. Um, How much is that cinnamon roll? Um it is uh it's about uh 20 silver. God, I only have six. <laughs> you pay them in gold. I don't have... No, John, all the money's in the party fund with John. Oh, sorry, my, my bad, my bad. I misspoke. It's about... Sorry. It's about uh, 50 copper. Oh, well, I will buy a cinnamon roll. I don't... I, sorry, I was I was thinking of normal pricing stuff, yeah. No, it is... Which, which like, 50 copper for a fucking cinnamon yeah. roll. Like, it's... Like, a cinnamon roll, even one's these big and nice... Should only yeah. be like fifteen copper, maybe twenty. Yep. You know, and I'm just like, I, I. It's one of those where it's, I will buy this, I will eat this, and then when we get home, I will make these, but better and cheaper. Yeah, I mean, going through I'm it, Joshua Wiseman, this shit. <laughs> going through it, it's not, it's not, it's not like, there's not like, this isn't like something incredibly like complex. Or yeah, of course. It's, it's just like a yeah, but like it's a it's a simple thing done very well. You know, it's right. You know, <coughs> the brioche is made exactly like it should be. It's ro- it's like risen exactly like it should be. It's rolled exactly like it should be. The the, the uh, uh, cinnamon sugar mix the, uh, uh, and butter mix that kind of goes inside of it is done exactly how it's supposed to. The the cream cheese icing is done exactly like it's it's just a number of things done right in every place to meet like a degree of check marks that gets you that like really nice product there's not like any like tricks here it's just putting in the work yeah and it, also the other thing is Simon's eating this is he's trying to think how can I make a pot version of these because <laughs> it's almost like making a pot brownie yeah. because you still have the butter and everything yeah yeah no I mean milk fats absorb uh yeah the components really easy so you you could totally just they like, do infuse the milk before you put it into the brioche or even the uh-huh. butter if you wanted to yep but yeah um but, yeah. uh but you guys uh are, are you guys going asking around for your contacts oh the other thing i wanted to do yeah though, going around these places is what are the people like over i guess like is it mostly humans is it like super diverse what are we looking at here from like a population um you you see this is a uh, surprisingly large human population uh, for like okay. being this far out here because like this this is like you know Thessos is still like predominantly Thessalonian even though, like yeah, they're probably yeah, like a third of their population is human which yeah I, I think like if you like actually took a moment to think through that how scary that would be going from being a hundred percent of the population to 30 to 60 to like 70 percent of the population over the course of only 200 years um, yeah um, but anyways uh, the um, it's a lot of humans a lot of humans um, you see 
as you look around at the people, you do see a fair amount of dwarves, uh, more okay. than you would have thought. Um, but you, uh, like basically every like ninety like like forty percent of the population are all people who are obviously quite wealthy, and then the other sixty yeah. percent are all workers who are obviously catering to the quite wealthy. Okay, am yeah. I catching any looks? Um, not really. It's a pretty diverse population. You do, like, you have, like, like, the wealthy isn't just human. Like, there's wealthy, oh, there's wealthy, like, Leonin, there's wealthy, um, I mean, there's, you know, there's wealthy dwarves here, there's of wealthy course. tieflings, there's wealthy, there's a handful of wealthy dragonborn, even. You even see, like, um, an, an elf or two. They're quite rare, yeah. um, comparatively to other races, just because of how long it takes for them to reproduce. Yeah. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, there's like it's 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 you know, it's it's mostly it's still mostly like uh um let me think about how to say this. Um it's mostly dwarf in, in Thessalonian and then there's like a fair amount of humans. I think okay. would be a good way to say that. Yeah. And there's there's just not I'm not catching weird looks. No, like, no, no. I mean, no. I, I mean you get you always see you get glances, but not like yeah, yeah. You know, racist glances, just like, oh, that's yeah. a seven foot tall blue guy glances. Yeah, know. what the fuck is that? Yeah. Or like, some people know what that is, and they're like, oh. Nobody knows okay. who that is. There's not a lot of you guys. Yeah, I know. I mean, I maybe know. some of them, because there are rich people who are kind of in the know here. Because also, like, yeah, how they've been, you know. But, uh, John, you're going asking around? Yeah. Okay. Why don't you make a persuasion check? A persuasion. You make it a rock charisma oh. if you want. You need help. No, let him, let yeah. him do it. Let him do it. Look Hi. at that! Look at that, my guy. Uh you kind of walk up, and it's uh, it's it's too um, a kind of stiff-backed uh, 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 gif fellow. So. Uh, large, large, um, uh, uh, what are they called? Hippopotamus-like humanoid. He's got, um... Reginald. Ah, uh, unfortunately he died a long time ago. They don't, they don't live that long. Um, um, as he, as he, he he's, he's like, he looks at you. Ah, oh, hello, good sir. Good day. Ah. C can I help you? Uh, yes, I'm actually looking for my contact for, uh, my contract. And I'm gonna show him the papers because I cannot remember the name. Oh, yeah. No, it's the, um, let me pull it up real quick. I believe, I think I wrote this down somewhere. Um,. The Afolabi. Looking for the Afolabi. Afolabi. Um, hmm. You know, I think I, uh, they owned the, the rough and tumble, uh, coffee bar, uh, uh, down towards the edge of town, last I checked. Thank you, sir. No problem at all. One soldier to another. He tips his, like, cap at you. He's got, like, a bowler hat. He's, like, just because the shape of his head is quite small. Um, and he's got, like, the, uh, the big, uh, heavy coat. And he's got, like, a little can. He's, like, goes walking away. Um, and he's, like, begins to walk over to a, a restaurant. And, uh, I mean, uh, like a store and starts looking at t-shirts that like are much too small for him because they're size for like not give uh -huh. um um as you get are, are you headed down to the uh, uh coffee bar i am is it like a coffee shop and a bar or is it just a coffee he didn't shop? he didn't specify yeah I am indeed. Are you going? Are you getting everybody to go with you? 
Yes, sir. Okay, everybody, find your way to the edge of town. This is kind of back towards where a lot of those, like, you know, rough and tumble looking buildings are. Um, and you see, as you kind of come out to this way, you see a lot less of those fancy people and a lot more of the, like, working class looking people. And as you get out here, there's, like, it's, like, mo- it's like 90% uh, uh, Thessalonians here. There's not a lot of old worlders here. And certainly not, most of them aren't, like, nice dressed or look like they're meant to serve the nicely dressed. As you approach this place, you can see there's a number of people kind of gathering around it, around a building uh, larger than most, um, still kind of roughshod and put together. And, and as you uh, as you step up to it, you can see it's called the Hank and the Grind. Wait, no, the Hank and Grind. Sorry. Um, <coughs> um, and as you kind of step in, you can see um, the back counter has all the equipment for like a like you know like a you know a cafe, a coffee place. But it's also got all the equipment for like a fully stocked bar. Fuck yes. <laughs> and you can see you can see like some of it's kind of like the coffee stuff is like like at rest and you kind of get the vibe that like in the morning they do more of like the coffee thing and then like in the evening they go more to the bar thing. But they also have like a shitload of like coffee like flavored cocktails on their menu and like fusion stuff. That they like kind of really kind of incorporate that element of it and you can see like there's still like and even though it's like late in the evening there's still that like you know coffee bean toasted coffee bean kind of smell in the air um and as you kind of step in here surprising number of those like wealthy people are here um and you know you you, you kind of a lot of them are quite young are like on the younger side like early 20s teens and you kind of get like this is there you kind of get the vibe this is like this is like uh, the like, oh, we're gonna go to the rough side of town kind of place that these people come to a little bit and get an authentic experience. Um, the gentrified God. place with graffiti, guy. Yeah, God. a little bit of that energy. You but but you also like that sounds awesome and then ruined it. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> welcome to gentrification. Um, you ruined it. <laughs> I mean, and it's not oh, like it's not like the place oh, is. Well, like- it's not like the place itself is catering to these people, you know? Like, it's yeah. still rough and tumble. There's still, like, a fuckload of miners. Their food, like, drinks aren't, like, wildly expensive. But, like, there's still, like, a solid, like, third of the people in here are, like, fancy fucks. Um, anyways, um, you kind of step in. Um, um, uh, you kind of wait a moment as you like push past the line. It's not a big line; it's like five people. It, the night hasn't really come fully under under its like you know swing. Um, it's still it's like not five yet, so a lot of people aren't drinking. A lot of people are still like sipping on actual like caffeinated beverages. They have some like hot cider that they do. By the way, you 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 find your way to the uh, bartender who's like kind of shifting things around and so like their hands are quite full as they're kind of shifting it over towards more like the alcohol focused evening um uh, you can see it's a uh, it's a lean in woman um kind of uh, probably on the younger side uh, quite like lithe as much as lean in women can be still quite muscular um she, she she's got like a colored shirt on but the sleeves are kind of rolled up um and she's got like one of those like smaller aprons kind of around her waist Um, and she kind of glances up. Ah, uh, can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for uh, the half a lobby. Uh, you that uh, that is my family. We own this building. Um, the word the deedsman coming. Uh, oh, about some land documents. Oh, okay. Yeah, come come this way. Uh, uh. Setsy, come take this over, and she kind of like leads you, leads you off the side, uh, right this way. Um, you'll be talking to him. Uh, I'm Amisha, uh, and she kind of leads you along. You kind of go to a back room, and you can see uh, there's an old woman, kind of like bundled up, a very old lean, and she's got like drooping skin. You know, her ears aren't, like, up. They, like, flap down, and they really have, like, no life left of them, so they just hang down a little further than they really ought to. You see her head's kind of wrapped in a, like, I don't know, like a bundled scarf almost. 
and she's kind of sitting by like a fireplace, staying warm. You can see that there's there's um, a uh, older gentleman, maybe her son, a little young to be her um, husband. It looks like, but maybe she took a young husband, um, who's like kind of keeping her company. His mane is like dark, like like a, like a deep deep brown, but it's beginning to get streaks through a gray, with gray, so it's kind of like evening out to like a medium brown almost. Um, he's wearing like a heavy coat, uh, that's, uh, kind of opens in the middle and it's got like these, it's like orange and has like these like designs that kind of run down it in like swirls. They're both very colorfully dressed and uh, as, uh, as you kind of step inside, she turns, uh, she sees, she looks at you and kind of squints. You can see her eyes probably not the best. She's like, what do you have there? Uh. It's the, um, these men we had, uh, Mari. Um, oh, well, come here. He kind of waves you all over. He goes, tum, 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 tum. um, have a seat. There are no other chairs. All right. Hmm. Sabin's just gonna... Interesting woman. <laughs> Sabin's just gonna sit on the floor. Gwen's gonna stand. Mm. If there's only one seat, <laughs> uh, roll stealth check. There's yeah. no, there's no more seats. There's like literally, you guys are like, there's a carpeted floor and it's not in front of the fireplace. So yeah, if there's no more seats, just gonna stand. Yeah, yeah roll stealth check. Roll stealth check. Oh, stealth check. Okay. Oh, just to see if she can see him because her vision is not that good, and she might be. Okay, you're fine. Uh, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Uh, <laughs> you kind of like blend in. She's kind of in the firelight, so like you slip into like a shadow beside it, and like everybody <clears throat> invisible. But everybody else just kind of goes crisscross applesauce on the on the floor of the fire. It's actually kind of nice. It's a nice carpet, kind of like old and like ragged, but like in a way that makes it kind of more comfortable in many ways. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> ah, uh, old Maggie Greybeard. She she found. Um, silver mines up in those hills. She thinks she could steal them out from under us. But what Maggie doesn't know is that our family was promised those hills long ago. We never did anything with them because we didn't have the money. But if she thinks she's going to snake them out from under us, she is a fool. Ah, but we can't prove anything. Everything was lost and sold in. So, we need your help. Okay. Need you to go. Go in. Uh, I was a child when we lost uh, Sedenia, so I need. I don't know if there's two places they probably have the records. Either the old fort or the um, temple would have the records in them. We need you to find them. Oh, sorry. Uh, my name is Mo uh, You can call me. Uh, uh, one sec. I heard you look up the name. There's someone writing this down. The old fort of the temple. You can call me Opo Afolabi. Uh. Oh, I yeah. am. You got it. You got it. Okay. Sure. Sure. Uh, it's uh, it's pretty dangerous down there though. Even if you can get through the poison, which uh, I'm guessing with your uh, Volnasi, you'll be okay there. Um, you have to deal with all uh, what's left. Of what the the catastrophe twisted everything up. You're gonna have to deal with that. What do you mean by that? I only hear things, but when they were cleaning it up, they talked about something being wrong with the place. Why they couldn't save the town. Mm -hmm. 
But we got rooms upstairs. You can stay the night, head out tomorrow morning. Very well. Um, how far in is the old fort and the temple? Uh, Approximately they'd be, in. They'd be near the center of the town. Uh, it won't be pretty, but the bomb went off more to the northeast, northwest, so it'll be a ways away, so. You won't have to hit the worst of it. Would there be any identifiers? Not that I know of. You just have to do look through the papers. You'll want to find the ones that have the uh, seal of the Lambros family on them. Do you happen to have uh, the seal on you, so we can have an identifier of that? Oh, if, if you've been to Cochise, you, you know what it looks like. And you do, you do. You have seen, like, there's, like, banners and stuff around, and all the soldiers have it on them, where it's a... It's a, um... It's a, like, it's literally a... a, a f it is a, like, literally a lamp, um, with a, like, tear background to it. And then, like, a circle, usually with, like, golden colors kind of defining it. Um. Be careful, though. Poison is very dangerous. Thank you. Do our best. Yeah. Twenty five hundred silver for you if you can pull it off. All right. Works for us. Any objections? Native. Well, right. you could stay here if you want. I'm just oh. going to take a nap. Alright. And she's just immediately asleep. Oh. And you see the old, uh, the old lean in beside her kind of like strokes her back and arm a little bit and um, just kind of like watches the fire. And you guys kind of sit there on the cozy carpet fire crackling, heat, the cold of the outside kept away, the smell of coffee and the dull hubbub of people um, enjoying uh, their drinks in the, like, you know, lobby of this place. And as you guys rest in this moment of peace, uh, that is where we're going to end this session. Simon would have totally gone.